I've had to re-record audio enough times for this video, so I'm going to make this very short. I have loved tune shading, cell shading, any sort of stylized shading in games, ever since I started playing games. Since I started learning game development, it's been one of my main focuses on and off. I've written myself a few tune libraries that I've consistently rewritten and rewritten to be slightly better and slightly worse. I've always loved a dithered look, and I've always had a big problem which is UV-based dithering looks terrible, and screen-space dithering looks terrible, but in a completely different way. I've just finished RuneVision's video on surface-stable fractal dithering. I think I finished it about six or seven hours ago, it's nearly five in the morning, and I've been working on this little project non-stop. Absolutely wonderful video, it's going to be linked in the description if I can figure out how to do that. Watch it, now. He'll explain things better than I ever could. However, I'm using a completely different algorithm. I'm now going to go over some problems that RuneVision ran into that I want to avoid specifically in my algorithm. Let's go. First of all, squash and stretch with the model's UV. I, I don't want this tied to the UV. I want this to be completely spatially based. Uh, so I'm using triplanar coordinates. I'm technically using world triplanar coordinates. So don't do that. That's a bad idea. Uh, second of all, we have the problem of dots just blipping in and out to fill up density. It works really well in the video, it works really well in all the examples. It's a really interesting style that I just don't want to do. I want my transitions to be smooth. Third problem is I just don't like 3D textures, and I don't know how to make them effectively, and Rune Vision was relying on a 3D texture. Fuck that. And fourth of all, Probably the hardest problem to tackle, and the one that I have just put band-aid solutions on. Steep viewing angles look absolute dog. Uh, the only way I've been able to fix that is by just darkening it, blurring it a little, adding a bit more anti-aliasing. It's fine. It looks fine. Uh, but let's go over how this little algorithm works, and why it's the best thing I've ever programmed. Which is setting the bar quite low, to be fair. So, first of all, it's going to take a depth texture, and it's going to block it up. And it's going to do that twice, one with an offset, and then it generates a factor that blends between the two. It's that simple. It is just blending between two gradients. Yes, that's right, the driving factor of this is just a lerp. Uh, I'm not doing it linearly. In some of the examples, I have a nice ease in, ease out function, but frankly, it doesn't matter. The ease in, ease out function looks best on the dots, but if you're using a noise texture, you want to be doing it linearly. So, I'm taking my two different textures, lerping them together, and I'm doing this while they're still a gradient, and then only after that do I apply the two-tone thing. And this sounds really simple, and that's because it basically is. Everything up until the very last bit. But even then, that works. It doesn't have a completely uniform look. And depending on the texture that you're using, it will look unstable. There will be parts that are too dark in the transition, or parts that are too light in. But we'll tackle that when we get to it. There you have it, that's the basics. Now, the final problem is a problem unique to my algorithm which is a complete instability in brightness. Which is a massive problem, seeing as this is meant to be dithering. So, this can be completely solved. It's very easy, just a little bit finicky. You've got to do this by eye. So, I'm going to take the blending factor, and I'm going to multiply it by pi and take the sine of it. And this basically just gives me bright areas where there is not a transition going on, and dark areas where there is a transition going on, and maybe it's the other way around, I don't know, I can't remember, and I'm not going to check. Then, I take the difference, the absolute difference, between dither 1 and dither 2, which are the two different sectors that are blending together, and I multiply it by the sine of that thing that I've just told you about. Then I add that on, and I multiply it by a factor that I'm going to call x, and that fixes the problem. What I do is I'm basically isolating the difference, the pattern, the problem areas, and I'm boosting them if they're dark. Problem is, depending on the noise texture you use, they're going to be dark by a different amount. They might be brighter in those areas, 
And so you just change that little blending factor uh, X to a negative number. I generally keep it around 0.1, negative 0.2, around that general area. I've not needed anything greater or lower than that. And then I just add it onto the dither. Now, I am doing some fancy things here. First of all, when I'm clamping from black to white, all I have to do is take a greater than 0.5, but it leaves some really ugly aliasing. What I'm actually doing is massively increasing the contrast, and because of that, I can modulate the contrast by the Fresnel. That's how I get the softened up look on steeper viewing angles. Now I'd also like to mention, if you're using a circular dot texture, or a very regular texture, I would recommend using some sort of ease-in, ease-out interpolation. However, if you're just using a noise texture, I would really like to recommend just keeping it linearly interpolated. I think it looks much better, and it looks very smooth. I'm a big fan. Some of the examples you're seeing with noise textures will not be linearly interpolated, I think you'll be able to see that the transition speeds up and slows down, and it just doesn't look very natural. I think the rest of the video is just going to be interesting examples and some b-roll, so just sit back and enjoy, and lastly, once again, thank you Rune Vision. Your video was absolutely great, and I would never have thought to do something like that without you.